Doctor, one of the things that you talk about often is firing your MD. Uh, why is that something that you say people should look at? The reason that I advocate people to fire their medical doctors is because conventional MD-directed medical therapeutics for chronic diseases do not work. They don't work. And nobody has any perspective on this. So I'm pushing the envelope a little, trying to get people to think, all right, when I say fire your MD, because I'm serious. For instance, you wouldn't consult a chiropractor if you needed coronary uh, surgery, right? If you needed open heart surgery, you would not ask a chiropractor what to do because that's not their wheelhouse. Well, as it turns out, the treatment of chronic diseases are not the wheelhouse of the MD. And this is a disconnect for most people because in the culture that we live in, in the 21st century, especially in the United States, in Canada as well, people have been socialized, for lack of a better word, to believe that their MD knows what's best for them. When in point of fact, their MD only knows what they've been trained in. And what the MD has been trained in is just one small piece of the greater pie of medical science. It's referred to as allopathic reductionism. Your medical doctor, bless their hearts, do not practice medicine, does not practice medicine. They practice allopathic medicine. I practice naturopathic medicine, right? There's chiropractic, homeopathic, osteopathic, Ayurveda, traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, herbalism, and so forth and so on. MDs are not trained in medicine. They're trained in allopathic reductionism. And allopathic reductionism is most excellent for trauma, surgery when it's necessary, and a handful of infectious diseases. But for chronic diseases, the things that most people go to the doctor for most of the time, high blood pressure, a heartburn, arthritis, uh, type 2 diabetes, uh, lack of energy, uh, insomnia, for example, MD-directed allopathic reductionistic medicine has nothing for these conditions except synthetic drugs, the intention of which is not to cure the disease, but to manage the disease process. Now, arguably, we have a medical monopoly here in the United States, right? I'm a naturopathic physician. My profession is only licensed and regulated in 17 states, currently 17 states. Yeah, the only medicine that's practiced at people's hospitals is MD-directed medicine. The only medicine that their insurance pays for, by and large, is MD-directed medicine. The only medicine that they make TV shows about, MD-directed medicine. And when in the popular press, alternative medicine is talked about, it's always talked about as kind of the red-headed stepchild that nobody wants to know, right? So we have a monopoly that the MDs and the pharmaceutical companies are in control of. And because people wrongly believe that their MD knows what's best for them, they bring their bodies to the MD when they have a chronic disease. And the MD's treatments, because of their training, do not intend to get to the root cause of the disease nor to cure the disease. They only intend to manage the disease process. And listen, while we have been under the monopoly of the MD since the early 1920s, heart disease increasing, cancer, forget about it. We spent $600 billion to come up with a cure for cancer. We're not even closer than we were 50 years ago. Uh, Alzheimer's has risen from obscurity to become the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. Autism has risen from one out of 10,000 to one out of 86. Why is this? Because we've taken the wrong dog to the hunt. The MD, your MD may be the nicest person that God ever created, but they do not know what's best for you. They only know what they've been trained in. And when it comes to the management or treatment of chronic disease, their therapeutics are abysmally horrible. And we're not against drugs, by the way. It's not the drug, it's how it's used, right? It's not the gun, it's how it's used. It's not the drug, it's how it's used. I can prescribe drugs. Thank God for Novocaine. Thank God for morphine. Thank God for the sterile technique and penicillin. But when it comes to the treatment of chronic disease, the stuff that most people go to the doctor for, the MD has nothing for you except symptomatic, symptom-suppressing, expensive pharmaceutical medicines, the intention of which is not to fix the disease, but to simply manage the process.